The other day, my husband and I were sitting on our screened-in porch when we heard the approaching laughter of the neighbor's children. And we looked and saw that they had those plastic Easter eggs, and they were inviting us to participate in a socially distant Easter egg hunt. And so they asked us to close our eyes for a little while while they, with sanitized hands, scattered them around our yard. And we closed our eyes for what felt like a significant amount of time, wondering when our chance would come to begin the search. But eventually it did, and we wandered around the yard and gathered them into a basket. After we thought we had found them all, the youngest boy came running towards me with the very last one. And we heard a shout from his father on the porch saying, don't get too close. And he stopped. And so from where he was, he threw the egg into the basket. And I was struck at how we are created by God for connection, for proximity. And so in this season of waiting and wondering when our chance will come to be close again, we have to find creative ways to be tender and close to one another, even when we can, need to keep our physical distance. I think of how Jesus constantly healed people with touch and how he stood before the disciples asking them if he could wash their feet with a wash basin and an apron. And I think we've often been uncomfortable like the disciples were that evening with our need for each other, our need to be vulnerable with one another, to be held by one another. And so if anything, right now we have this opportunity to be honest about our interdependence and our need for creative ways to engage with one another. So I'm curious, how are you reaching out to others creatively in this time? And how are you encountering Christ in the care people are extending to you? Because I know in my yard this past weekend, I felt like I encountered Christ running towards me with an Easter egg in hand, wanting to be close.